Hi, I'm Adam from Midwest Panel Builders, and today we're going to be demoing the Ithra in cockpit health monitoring system. Behind me here, I've got Mojo Grip Sling TSI panel and harness that we're going to be sending out to California here very soon. And he's going to actually be using this system in his aircraft, and we thought this would be a great system to uh, demonstrate on. So the Ithra system is comprised of the shield which is more or less a communications hub you can think of it as. Uh, this is where the Altus, which is the oxygen bottle monitor, and the Illyrian pulse oximeter that I've currently got on my wrist, uh, it all reports to this, and then that's how it gets into the G3X. So it's a totally wireless system uh, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, hard mounting your bottle in your plane or, you know, where do you put this and keep it hardwired. It's all wireless and it's all pretty reliable. Uh, and then also we have the Ithra Connect phone app that this will also communicate with. And what's cool about the phone app is if you've got it running, it acts as kind of like a communication relay. So everything will now start talking to it and then it will send the information to the Ithra shield behind the panel for a little bit better signal reception. On screen here we've got the uh, data bars for the Ithra system. The, uh, this is on the engine page. Uh, so we've got the O2 bottle pressure at 40 PSI, which you've just got this hooked up to an air compressor right now, so it's not going to be very high. If you're testing this yourself, you should hook it up to an O2 bottle. Uh, we've got the CO parts per million here, uh, the scale 0 to 255. Uh, then we've got the pulse ox at 83% uh, rather. The, uh, and of course, this is showing low. The wrist is not a good location for this. It should be under your headset ear cup or it should be on your forehead uh, but for demonstration purposes I just got this on my wrist just so that we can see it working and also we can see that because this is low it shows up as an SPO2 cast message and then if it gets into the red range then we also get the warning light come on and we get this will turn red. Something to note about the pulse ox that shows up on the screen uh, at present this is only showing the pilot position because of how the system works, it's only capable of doing that. They are coming out with a new device though that eventually will talk with the G3X and will show up to six pulse ox positions on its own dedicated page as well as uh, oxygen bottle trend, so PSI per minute. Uh, then based on that, it'll give you an estimated time remaining um, as well as history graphs, all sorts of things. But with that being said, all of these items, and I'll just take this off, is available on the phone app. So if we go to carbon monoxide, we can see we've got a temperature graph in yellow, and then we've got CO parts per million in blue. Uh, over to pulse oximetry, we've got, right now it's monitoring for pulse, but you can see the graph before. Uh, so the red being your heart rate, and the blue being your oxygen saturation. And then it also has a pressure altitude readout on there as well. So you can see on this graph, which is a 12 hour graph, you can see how the pressure altitude affects your um, oxygen levels and how your pulse changes with your oxygen levels as well. And what you'll notice, of course, this goes up, this goes down, but this will also go up. Um, finally, we have tank pressure over here. So we've got right now 50 PSI in it. Uh, pressure altitude readout there as well. We've got PSI per minute if it was drawing a constant rate, and then we've got hours remaining on the bottle, and of course, again, we have this nice graph. Uh, and then there's a battery percentage on the Altus bottle monitor. A couple other nice things that this app will do, um, it has questionnaires for you that you can have come up at set periods of time once you're in the uh, altitudes that would require oxygen. Uh, and it's a hypoxia monitor. So depending on how quickly and how accurately you answer the questions, it'll kind of remind you like, hey, you need to get more oxygen, things like that. Um, if you pay for their uh, yearly subscription, you can also get airport information on this app as well. So it's a nice little supplement to ForeFlight. So given that this is a new system to us, we're gonna do a little bit more testing with it. Uh, Mojo Grip, of course, being our first subject to uh, go ahead and use the system in his plane, and we've got a couple other people that are gonna start using this in their plane as well. Uh, we do believe that this is gonna be a good system, and given the TSI, um, given its capabilities rather, the fact that it can fly so high, uh, we think that a lot of pilots are gonna find value in this system, and uh, there's already slings out there that have been retrofitted with this and uh, so far they've had good success with it. Uh, so, that being said, we are gonna be offering integration options for this for 
all current and future harnesses. If you're interested, give us a call, 810-356-3855, or go to our website, midwestpanels.com. You can contact us there and ask more questions.